We are looking at uh, CSS interview questions and answers. This stands for cascading style sheet. This is like a makeup for your HTML pages. This is just an example of how your CSS is going to look. And uh, we are specifically talking about CSS and we'll be seeing few more questions on CSS3 that is cascading style sheet 3. This is the new version along with HTML5. The website development has entirely changed. So this cascading style sheet is a style sheet language. So this language as you see here is a style sheet language and this is specifically for formatting of your HTML pages and in your website. And what happens most often uh, this is used to style web pages and user interfaces which are written in HTML and XHTML. This language can also be applied to any kind of XML document including your plain XML, SVG, XUL though XML document has their has its own uh, styling you know, background files. So CSS is now a cornerstone specification specifically this CSS3 and almost all web pages they use CSS style sheets to describe their presentation. So in all the website you are going to find this CSS and uh, it's quite easy to write and to understand because you just need a text powder browser and or text editor and a browser so that you can run. So what are cascading style sheet because this is the basics so I have not kept in question series. What are cascading style sheets? We'll talk about cascading, we'll talk about various stuff but the CSS or cascading style sheet, they are rules, they are statements that can assign various properties, rendering properties to your HTML element. Your HTML element or your text, say text, is by default black. Now you want to make it red. You want to increase the style size of the text. You want to give certain more properties to your text or any HTML element. Then you would require cascading style sheet. Style rules can be specified, say for a single occurrence or say a multiple occurrence to the entire document, to the entire website that is multiple document at once. So let us go ahead with the questions. What is class in CSS and why we use class? See, in your school or in colleges, there, there is a class. So this is a class of computer science engineers. All those who are to be taught the computer science subjects are to be placed in this class. Exactly, CSS also does that. The class is basically used for grouping the attributes for applying same CSS. So you group and then you apply CSS that will be applied on all the elements which are in this class. And to apply the same type of styles on a multiple tags, we add the class on the tags. And then we add the styles on same class in CSS file. In short, a group of instances of the same element to which a unique style can be attached is what we know as a class in your CSS. What is grouping? What do we mean by grouping? As I suggested, it is comma separated list. Grouping, you gather comma separated list and then you have two or more selectors that share the same style. Like this. Uh, I'll just give an example because this example is also coming. So gathering into a comma separated list two or more selectors that share the same style or into a column separated, semicolon separated list two or more declarations that are attached to the same selector. I'll give an example that I have a heading, I have a paragraph and uh, say I have a more heading. I want to give same property to h1 p and h3 heading 1 paragraph and h3 so i am going to group it how i am going to group it because i have say some font size i will say background say colon and say red same colon and then again some 
property with some attribute property with attribute so this is you are grouping you are grouping or gathering into comma separated list to a more selectors that share the same style is css case sensitive no it is not cascading style sheet is not case sensitive what is a class selector as we have just seen class selector will know more about this class selector is a standalone class to which a specific style is declared it is a standalone class where in we have uh, applied or declared a specific style so using this class attribute the declared style can then be associated with any of the html elements so the class selector are created by a period followed b means a dot followed by class name so you have a class name here and the name naming scheme is also important the name can contain characters a to z a to capital z capital a to capital z then digits period hyphen and escape uh, characters unicode characters 161 to 255 as well as any unicode character as a numeric code but there is a catch they cannot start with a dash or by a digit no it is not allowed what is cascade what is cascade it is a method of defining the weight or the importance of individual style images thus allowing conflict rules to be sorted out that means what should or which should be applied first or to same selector like this when you apply the same uh, thing to the same selector cascading means say you have a paragraph now you have say uh, give padding and you say 10px and then you say background background you say yellow so what you have done this is the first one this is the second one so they are cascaded cascaded means first this will be applied then this will be applied and likewise so what is happening this is a method of defining the weight of the importance of individual styling rules. so there will be no conflict what are different ways to integrate a css into a website uh, we'll be talking about this a lot because then twice or thrice we'll be talking about this but basically there are three ways you can use a style attribute in the tags uh, by placing the code in a style element within the head element or you can also have an external file you can have an external file and you can link it via a link element we'll talk about this don't worry if you don't understand explain external style sheet how would you link it to the web page now you have a web page you create a css as external file and then you link it so how you're going to link it so you can create a css file maybe you can use your text edit or you can use your notepad plus plus or even notepad and place all the CSS in that file and include the same file in one or more web pages called as external style sheet. This is the way, or this is the uh, you can say syntax to do that. You have a link REL, means relation as a style sheet, and you give a reference. And this is the path, and ultimately, your file must be named, say, my style dot css like this what are the advantages and disadvantage of uh, external style sheet we'll be talking about this but for now using them means external style sheet you can uh, the styles of multiple pages multiple documents can be controlled by just one file which is external to us classes can be created for use on multiple html element types and in certain complex situation the selector and grouping methods can be used to apply styles and if you need to update the css file in the live site then you don't need to upload all the files you just you just have to upload the css file and it is quite easy to manage these files but the disadvantage which will now never means overpower the advantages so let us see in order to import style information for each document an extra download is needed an extra download until the external side sheet is loaded 
the document will not run means the rendering of document will not start and for small number of style definition it is not viable why are waving a style sheet just for one one style or one tag but the recommendation always is use an external style sheet next is uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of inline style sheets see uh, advantages are especially useful if you have small number of style definition so it has the ability to override other style specification like the embedded one like the external style sheet so it has the ability or to override these style specification methods at the local level that is in one place but there are disadvantages of also it does not separate out style information from content you need to separate you need to have a separate style information and the content and the style for many document cannot be controlled from one source for that you would require the external style sheets the selector grouping method cannot be used to handle complex situations and control classes cannot be created to control multiple element types within the document and good companies never allow to use inline css in website so the recommendation would be never use inline style sheet and uh, or you can say that uh, embedded style sheet there is one more we will be talking about that is uh, that will be coming shortly what is uh, the css selector a css selector is a part of css rule which uh, rule set that actually selects the content for you that you want to style uh, let us have a look um, at all different kinds of selectors which are available you have a universal selector this apply css to all documents this star suggests that it is a universal selector all will be having color red element type selector this apply css to a particular attribute like this is unordered list all the unordered list will be colored red then id selector this apply css which is which are having same id for example you will take hash and the id name then the class selector for that you will use this uh, box say box is your uh, class and you can just select the class and you can give the styling then descendant combinator what is this descendant combinator this applies css when we have or we have combined two or more selectors so you can be more specific in your selection method like this you have a container this is this is the id and then dot box this is the class then child combinator you apply css to the child that means container this is your you are applying it to the child dot box general sibling combinator this apply css based on siblings these all the siblings and then adjacent sibling combinator like this siblings are siblings are actually the children of the same same uh, parent so it can be p it can be others also say h1 others also you know? that is why the combinations are different then attribute selector you can apply css on a particular tag with having which is having same attribute so all these we have a input as text will be colored red pseudo class we apply css on the class which does not exist in real like uh, hovering if it hovers then you color red otherwise not the next question is what is tweening what do we mean when we say tweening so tweening is used in animations it is the process of generating intermediate frames between two images so it gives the impression that the first image has smoothly evolved into the second one and you see in css3 uh, there 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 is a very good feature called as gradient where you see the gradient changing means you can you can feel the opacity the transparency change explain rwd rwd is a buzzword now everyone is talking about this this is for responsive web design why because this is the technique the design page is perfectly displayed on every screen size and device be it be desktop mobile laptop or any other device so you don't need to create a different page for each device what is the use of css sprites css sprites see a web page with a large number of images would take longer time to load in the website and because images or image separately send out the http request you see the tag is like this so you give a source like this a link so the 
concept of CSS Sprite, it helps in reducing this loading time for our web page by combining very small images into one image. And this reduces the number of HTTP requests. How to import CSS? This is how you import CSS. Import, then you give the URL like this. Okay, this is this can be any name of your type, and this is the path. So these are a few questions on CSS. We'll be taking uh, more of these. Uh, there are around 30 questions. So thank you so much. Take care of yourself.